What's up everybody? So I just did a video for a $500 gaming PC with an onboard graphics card. Uh, this time I'm deciding to do a video with an APU instead, uh, which means basically a CPU and a GPU combined into where your CPU would go, called an APU. Uh, with this, it has onboard graphics instead of having a physical graphics card, which is going to obviously bring up your cost. Um, but because of that, you could spend a little bit more on this, and you could still buy or play games that are relatively um, intense, such as Battlefield 4. You could play with these. You don't need to have a, gra a dedicated graphics card. You just don't anymore. Now with these APUs, they're great for people who are just starting to get into PC gaming and are able to spend a lot less money, actually, and get good performance. So we're going to start off right here with the AMD Quad Core A10 series APU. This is the 6800K. Now I do have alternatives. This is going to be around 380 to $410 altogether. Um, once again, as I said in my last $500 build, I have seen that $500 build for 410. Um, that is when those things are on sale. When you find the sales, you probably get this for another $50 cheaper too. You need to find the sales, search around to different websites. Uh, dealzone.com, slick deals, find out what you can get for really cheap. When I say that uh, you can get a Radeon blah 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 in my $500 gaming build, go to slickdeals.net, type in Radeon, see if there's a deal, see if there's a similar card, do research, do research, do research, maybe there's a better card that's the same price as what I put it, and you could get even more for what you want. I'm downloading Camtasia here, taking forever with my, for some reason it just will not load, download. Um, but I have the 6800K right here. Uh, my alternative for that is going to be the AMD A1070 700K. It's going to be a little bit better at 159 and then even better than that at 169 is going to be the A1070 850K, uh, which is going to be 169.99. But if you guys, and overall, that's only going to be from 140 to 170, you're only doing a $30 difference. But if you guys are really on a budget, stick with this 6800K. Uh, for the hard drive, I'm going to go to the Western Digital Blue one terabyte desktop hard drive. This is going to be 3.5 inch, 7200 RPM SATA, 6 gigs a second. Um, and this is going to be great at 5724. You're going to get a whole terabyte of space. Uh, for RAM, I'm going with the 8 gig, uh, 1600 megahertz RAM. This is going to be two pieces. Of course, you could, uh, there is times when you can get it in one stick in 8 gig, but I'm just going with this Ballistic Sport. Uh, it's so going to be 7394 for that. Now, if you do want to do something that which is a little bit smarter when you do, are you running APU, is get higher megahertz RAM, because that's going to really help you with your speeds and performance of your game. Uh, for that, you could get this 1866 MHz DDR3. Uh, it is going to run you not that much more money at 84 compared to 73. It's a $10 difference for also 8 gigs of RAM 2 sticks. Uh, for the motherboard, I'm going to go with the FM2 Plus, and this is going to be super budget buy at $57. Um, this is pretty low grade you're only going to have two slots so the maximum output you're either going to be i'm not sure if it even supports 16 if it supports an 8 gig in each i'm assuming that it would um i did look in the bottom here and it does say that uh memory is to ddr3 2100 overclock 1866 1600 1333 dim slots so it's going to support that 1866 ram that you did buy previously so even at eight gigs that's totally fine if you do want something that's a little bit more upgradable but once again you're gonna have to spend more money at 112 we have the asus amd 885x uh, this is a pretty great motherboard at DDR3 up to 2400. Um, and you can see that people actually have been buying the A10 series 6800K, which I showed you previously at the beginning of this video, actually with this motherboard. So a lot of people obviously prefer this motherboard with that, but that obviously is going to run you a good $57 extra. And for the case, I went with either this Fractal Design Core 1000 USB 3.0 case or this NZXT Mid Tower case. Uh, they're both pretty cool. I do like the whole fractal design. You could also go with any other case um, that will support this. Uh, you just kind of got to check it out. For this, you can obviously get uh, a micro ATX case here, um, and it'll fit fine. And for this, this is a, I'm pretty sure, this is not micro ATX. This is just 
Hmm. Doesn't say, but I know this is a, obviously a bigger motherboard, so a micro ATX board isn't going to work for that. Um, but they're both FM2+, plus, so you could put any of these processors in either of the motherboards. And so that's going to about wrap it up for that. And if you add up the total of 139 here, plus 57, plus 73, plus 57 and plus 46 you're going to get around 380 dollars 390 dollars now remember to check websites like i said before and of course if you go with the cards you guys can do the math and figure out that it will turn out to be more money i'll actually put that information on the screen probably as i'm talking right now in order for you guys to see what the actual pricing comes out to and remember this is all amazon pricing amazon is not always the cheapest so remember as i said before deals on new egg check things out make sure you can get it for the cheapest or alternative alternatives for the same price or cheaper that are probably better or the same so thank you guys so much for watching this is my 400 dollars budget build apu gaming pc and i hope you guys enjoyed this video leave a like if you have any questions below or any suggestions on something that would be better or something i got wrong please let me know this is my second video of doing anything for building a pc as um i kind of just looked around for what would be the best what are people buying what's the best deals uh also i checked other youtube videos um, so if you guys, yes, have any concerns, just let me know any questions. I shall get back to you as quick as I can leave a like if you guys want more videos like this or any other kind of amounts of, um, gaming PCs or even seeing my gaming PC or how to build a PC, anything you guys want, just let me know in the comments and thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.